Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing you another holiday video. Just wanted to wish everyone out there a happy Alien Day this April 26, 2020. If you don't know why April 26th is Alien Day, the planet in Alien and Aliens was LV-426, hence April 26th. Alien Day has been celebrated for a few years now. There's usually some new alien news or alien merchandise announced. I decided this was probably the best time to show off my Alien and Predator collection. I'll be doing two different versions of this video, one short, one longer. This video will showcase my entire Alien and Predator 7-inch action figure collection. The short version of this video will obviously be shorter. The long version of this video will go over everything in great detail. So with no further ado, happy Alien Day in 2020. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and don't worry. This is not my entire Alien collection. So let's go ahead and get started. My Alien and Predator collection is in a large walk-in closet, which is an offshoot of my main action figure room. My main collection is predominantly Batman and related, but that room is in disarray, and that's a video for another time. Today is Alien Day. So you can see in this closet we've got a whole bunch of different shelves, we've got a bunch of Predators, a bunch of different Aliens, and a bunch of marines. So this is the longer version of this video. In this video, we're gonna look at each shelf, talk about each one, dissect it in depth. So let's get started. So let's start off here with on top of the shelves. In front of you are eight different blade fighters. That is a Predator vehicle, Kenner throwback. These are all wall mounted. I think I got two of these for full price, but then later Toys R Us marked them down to $19 each. That's cheaper than an individual Predator figure, so I said, why not? We've got three of the Bone Thrones. That works great, as I've got at least three different clan leaders. In the back here, we've got eight of these mummified chestburster victims from Alien vs. Predator. On the wall here, old Alien Covenant picture from a DVD display. As we go further across the top of this bookshelf, Here's what I call my nursery. Just an absolute whole bunch of chest bursters, whole bunch of face huggers, some background dioramas, some queen face huggers, cocoon victim, and a whole bunch of eggs. And when I said a whole bunch, I mean a whole bunch. So now it's digging deep to each shelf one by one in my collection here. You'll find a bunch of aliens, a bunch of predators, a bunch of engineers, a bunch of humans, both marines, and Wayland yutani This first shelf here, this is a Wayland yutani facility. This here is where they build the synthetics. You can see they've got a couple of Wayland yutani guards. They've also got David and Walter in there. We've got Vickers here, another David robot in the back, some computers, and some more David robots being assembled. Next, we've got the Predator 1 shelf. Ton of different variations of the Predator from the first film. Starting off here, this is the Damage Classic. This one is actually from the movie Predators. In the background, we've got a whole bunch of those McFarlane Movie Master skeleton type displays. We've got a bunch of Predator Vision from Predator Packaging. And we've got three skinned corpses back there. A little crowded in there. First, in the front center, Ultimate Jungle Hunter. Then we've got the classic from Predators, Unmasked, non-Ultimate Jungle Hunter. The Jungle Hunter with the Gort Mask, video game version. Looks like a wasp head thrown onto a Jungle Hunter body. This was some fodder pieces, maybe an extra Predator. Semi-cloaked original Predator, unmasked original Predator, and then the McFarlane version. Here's my Predator 2 shelf. This is the entire Lost Clan from the end of Predator 2. It turns out NECA is going to be redoing a lot of these guys in ultimate format over the next year or two. Can't wait to get some upgrades on these guys. Whole bunch from that clan. 
And here's my second Predator 2 shelf. This has a bunch of different Predator 2 variation figures, as well as my trophies and trophy wall. The trophy wall is an absolutely amazing Daronf and NECA, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny nowadays. Golden Angel, Armored Lost Predator, a Cloaked City Hunter. Whole bunch of different skulls and trophies, including an engineer skull in the center. The trophy wall added my own heads that they're working on. Looks like Jungle Hunter, video game version, damage version, and then the McFarlane version in the back. Here's the Alien vs. Predator shelf. I've also got the Aliens vs. Predator 2 figure wolf on here as well. I'm assuming they're from the same clan. So let's check them out. We've got the clan leader at the front here with Scar and Wolf behind them. We've got Chopper Celtic and Scar, another version of Chopper and Bow Damage in the back, and a couple of Youngblood and sort of random Predators from the flashback scenes. Here is my Predators shelf. We've got both the three Predators from the Berserker Clan, as well as three Predator Hounds. Now, NECA said the Predator Hounds didn't sell very well, which kind of surprises me, but they sure should have been cheaper than an actual Predator. A couple of Skull Diorama bases, then here we've got all three of the Berserker Predators. Front center, we've got the Berserker Predator with his mask on. To the left, Falcon Predator, both cloaked and not cloaked. We've got the Tracker Predator here. And in the back, we've got Berserker Predator with his mask off. And on the side, the Falcon drone they used. Here we've got another Wayland Utani facility. Front and center, got my custom Charles Wayland, leader of the company. Looks like Carter Burke finally smuggled the specimen back to him. We've got 12 of these vials with facehuggers in them. A couple of scientist type people there. And of course, some Wayland Utani guards. This next shelf here, I call my alien one off shelf. These are aliens that either don't have a home or there are not enough of them for their own shelf. This yellow guy here, got two of them, Sewer Mutation Alien. In the very back there, we've got the Batman vs. Aliens Jokerized Alien. In the front, Alien Defiance Alien, got two of those. This guy here is an older NECA, Aliens vs. Predator 2 Requiem Warrior Alien. Can't wait for NECA to re-release a better version of that. Here's the Pred Alien, another Defiance and Sewer Mutation. Then a Joker alien in the back, and in the center, we've got two of the Superman vs. Aliens 2-pack aliens. Next shelf here, six Battle Damage Xenomorphs from Aliens, and eight Sentry Gun turrets, absolutely destroying them. One blue, one brown are the non-ultimate versions, and then we've got two blue and two brown of the ultimate versions. This next shelf here is my Prometheus. Engineer and ampule shelf. As you can see, we got this absolutely large custom diorama in the center. This is a giant engineer head as featured in the temple in both Prometheus and Alien Covenant. We've got three of these black engineers in their suits, all with engineer guns. The Predator guns I'm using for engineer guns. Got the holograph version in the back. Whole bunch of these ampules, both large and small. Both these are Custom ampules I got from some casts of the small one and then 3D prints of the large one in the back. This side here, we've got five more engineers, holographic in the back, three white, and then one bow damaged, as well as some more ampules. This next predator shelf here, these are my one off predators. These are predators from video games, as well as the fan film Dead End. The left here, the very far left Predator is from 2010, Alien vs. Predator. The next one is from Concrete Jungle. In the back here, really can't see it very well. We do have a Vasquez head on an extra Machico body. And behind there, we've got a Witchblade. That's why I used to use this Machico before they made one. These three Predators are from the 1994 Alien vs. Predator arcade game. And then these four Predators here 
are all from the fan film, Batman Dead End. The front three are official releases. Can't believe NECA made Predators from that Batman vs. Aliens vs. Predator fan film. Absolutely amazing in the back. I customized my own version of the main Predator from that fan film they never made. This next shelf here contains all of my NECA Kenner throwback Predators. This is a complete collection. The Kenner collection. Ton of different Predators in there. All super cool, colorful, amazing. The collection is complete. We'll see if they find a way to make any more. And then yet another Wayland Utani facility. This is where they do experiments on the Xenomorphs. You can see we've got a couple of Wayland Utani guards, four more of them. We've got some aliens in stasis chambers, tubes in the background with the Wayland Utani logo. A couple of scientists taking notes, experimenting on these face huggers. You can see they're upside down, being dissected. Here's my Alien vs. Predator movie shelf. On the shelf, got a whole bunch of these Xenomorphs from Alien vs. Predator. This was a great release from NECA, one of their best. The back there, we've got a McFarlane version and the McFarlane grid. Then we have six of the AVP Warriors, one glow-in-the-dark version, two NECA grids, one of them the original release, and one the two-pack later corrected release with a damaged tail. Next is my Predator Dark Horse comic shelf. Inside here, we've got both Bad Blood and Enforcer, both the original and ultimate releases. In the back, we've got a couple of Sinestro Corpse Predators, a couple of Predators from Batman vs. Predator in the very back. We've got Broken Tusk, Machiko, and Hornhead. We've got both versions of Ahab, the original and the ultimate, in the back. Another Dark Horse Predator. Here's my shelf from the film The Predator. I'm definitely planning to expand this to a second shelf once I can free up some more room. Got two of the Assassin Predators in the back. They're making a new version and he's kind of green, kind of brown. I believe one's going to be armored, one's unarmored. I put all these Ghostbuster Terror Dogs in here. I had two of them because there were two in the film. I thought they worked great for a couple of Predator Hounds, as the Assassin had in the film. Then, of course, I got the two transparent ones, almost like Cloaked Hounds. Then they made that blue exclusive one. We've got the three different fugitives in the front. And then six of the Emissary Predators in the back. Made my own little Predator Marine Corps. This is my NECA Kenner Alien shelf. This is a complete collection of the throwback Kenner Aliens. The only ones not on the shelf are the Queen Facehuggers, as I keep them in my Alien Nursery. I've got two of almost all these guys. Alien Club Exclusive Alien, Light Blue Big Chap, I've got the Snake in the very back, Gorilla at the front, there's the Scorpion. There in the back, standing up super tall is the Rhino and the Mantis. In the front is an all black Big Chap from a Toys R Us 2-pack exclusive. This next shelf here, We've got some Alien Covenant Aliens on the left, as well as some 1994 Alien vs. Predator arcade game aliens. Alien Covenant Aliens, there are four of them there. And then two of each of the arcade game aliens. This next shelf here is from the first Alien film. Pretty much filled with a bunch of big chaps. In here we've got two Figma big chaps, Two Mafex Big Chaps, four NECA Ultimate Big Chaps, one NECA Original Big Chap, two NECA Alien Isolation Stompy Figures, one older NECA Big Chap right there with a creepy dome, and then behind him are three McFarlane Big Chaps. And here is my Aliens shelf from the second film. Cram packed with a bunch of rigid headed aliens from Aliens. And a couple smooth dome versions as well. In the very, very back, you probably can't see them at all. There's a McFarlane version of that alien. We've got three of the all black rigid NECA aliens. Five of the brown and five of the blue NECA ones. And we've got three of the smooth domed concept alien from Aliens that came in the Burke 2 pack. 
Next, we've got the albino alien shelf. All my white aliens go here. The back corner, we've got the aliens, albino alien with the rigid head. In the middle, the concept alien from the first film. We've got four different neomorphs. Two on all fours, two standing upright. We've got four young neomorphs and four just bursted neomorphs. You can see we've got some of these alien versus predator, predator pillars. There's actually six of them. They're all stacked up in the corner here, out of the way until I need to use them for display. Here's my aliens genocide red hive. We've got the red queen, a couple of Kenner red facehuggers, two of the pink alien arcade game alien. He's not part of this genocide hive, but I thought he fit in pretty good. You've got two of the red big chaps, two of the red dog alien, and three of the alien's red xenomorph. Next, we've got my dog alien, alien three shelf. Got a whole bunch of dog aliens here. Most of them are standing upright. They're super tall, and I kind of like them that way. Sure, they're kind of meant to be on all fours, but I don't think I'd fit them all if I did that on the shelf. So we've got two of the original brown version, two of the original gray version, two of the video game blue and brown version, and then two of the ultimate version. We've also got a McFarlane dog in the center, as well as four Bambi Bursters. Next, we've got the Alien Resurrection shelf. There are six of the NECA Alien Resurrection Warriors, and in the back, there are two of the McFarlane versions as well. Then we've got this large, giant space jockey from NECA. This is a foam version, but it's beautiful, holds up very nicely, and fits in with your 7-inch scale figures perfectly. Below him, all of my queens. First, we've got the blue NECA queen from Aliens. Brown NECA queen from Alien Resurrection. We've got the McFarlane queen behind that old Kenner egg sack playset, four young queens from NECA, then we've got two McFarlane queens. These are a different scale figure. They're about the size of an alien warrior, so I thought these guys worked great for Praetorians guarding the queens. This next shelf here really contains just a bunch of extra figures. Got extra Newt, whole bunch of extra Ripley's. Looking a little closer, we've got the Hasbro, Cal and Ripley. There's Amanda Ripley. Ripley from Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. Got the Damaged Bishop and a custom Damaged Marine. There's also this little diorama piece in the background. It was an X-Files diorama. I thought it worked good for a good cryo chamber. This next shelf here, just some miscellaneous alien type stuff. Here are several different Kenner aliens I have. We've got two of the Ultra Deluxe Newborn in the back. There's also the Hasbro Newborn and Hasbro Warrior. See in the very, very back, can't see it very well, but it's a Trilobite from Prometheus. Got two Deacons from Prometheus, four Hammerpedes. And on the side here, we've got two figures from Species. H.R. Geiger did the designs. I thought that one in particular looked very alien-esque. Next, all my spacesuit type figures. First of all, from the Alien Universe, we've got Ripley, Dallas, you see Kane, Amanda Ripley, there's actually two Lambert figures in there. And then from Prometheus, the front here, we've got Vickers, a couple different Davids, Shaw, then we've got a couple different custom figures of the crew. Next, Let's check out all the different Marines I have. Talk about army building. That is my thing. So, let's explain all these Marines. First of all, these are all my film figures. Some are customs, some are substitutes, some are unfinished customs. Didn't really do much with Spunkmeyer and Pharaoh. Definitely not a good Pharaoh figure. Hoping to find something better eventually. Burke, Gorman, Bishop, Ripley, Newt, Hicks, Apone, Dietrich, Drake, Vasquez, looks like Wierzbowski, 
Hudson, Crow, Frost. Next, we've got a few more official NECA releases. On the right hand side, we got Vasquez, Hicks, and Hudson. They're in their later outfits from the film. NECA made a James Cameron, the director, as a Marine on the left here. In the background, a Windrix Marine. The front here, I took a Burke figure, threw a James Cameron head on it. Bam, I got my director of the film. And next, on top here, a bunch of custom Marines. These are some of my favorite kinds. A lot of them are different head swaps. Some of them are a little bit more customized than others. Like I said, I put my favorite of the customs up top here. Army building at its finest. Next shelf here, we've got a bunch of smart gunners and the armory getting geared up. All kind of different equipment for the Marines. Different smart gunners training, getting geared up. Even extra smart guns, pulse rifles, flamethrowers, motion trackers, everything you can imagine in the back. Next shelf here. Even more custom Marines. I even got a Machiko Marine, something I really wanted to do with that figure, and a Lin Marine. Next shelf here, even more custom Marines. These guys all here doing their thing, some bloodied up, even wounded in the back. And then even more custom Marines. Whole bunch of them. This next shelf here is my Kenner Marine Shelf. There haven't been too many of them, but I do have some duplicates. Apone, Vasquez, Ripley, and the recently released Drake. I decided to put my Dutch and Lynn from the 1984 Alien vs. Predator arcade game there as well. And this last shelf here. These are the humans from Predator. We've got all the different Dutch figures here. And then some customs. Some finished, some not finished. Hawkins here at the front, not a custom, an official release. There's a custom Billy, custom Dylan, custom Anna. We've got Blaine and Mac, not finished. And then I'm going to use one of those Hawkins in the back for Poncho. Okay, so that was my entire Alien collection. I absolutely love the NECA Alien figures. I think they are fantastic, and there's no better Alien and Predator action figure collection out there. I'm extremely excited to continue to expand my Alien figure collection, whether it be with figures, dioramas, or vehicles. So everyone out there, crank on your favorite Alien movie. Mine is Aliens Part 2, and enjoy your Alien Day. I hope you guys like this video. If there's anything in my collection that seems to be missing, or you think I could get to enhance my collection, please drop me a line in the comments. I'd be very interested to hear what it is. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure videos from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.